morning everyone and thank you for joining me for this tutorial where I want to help native Russian speakers um, look at a common mistake that they might often make in English and help you correct it. Um, so like I say, native Russian speakers or maybe these rules apply to speakers of other Slavic languages, I suspect yes. Um, and this mistake is something that is made because um, the speaker is following the rules of their native language when they answer. So what is this mistake and how can I help? Well, the theme today is travel. Okay, and quite often when I ask the question, um, where did you go on holiday last year? Or what countries have you visited in your life? I often get a very similar response to this. I was in Spain. Or France, or the Czech Republic, or India. I was in the country. Well, that is a common answer that I get from my Russian speakers of English. And although it is a grammatically correct sentence, it's not really the right type of answer that we need when we're talking about travel or movement, okay? I was in. Um, and I understand why, first of all, because in Russian, this sentence corresponds to Ya byla v, ya byla v Čechy, ya byla v Ispanie. Okay, so it's a natural answer, it's a natural reaction to such a question. So if that isn't the right way to answer a question about where you were last year or where you have been in your life, what is the right answer? I'm going to tell you in this tutorial right now. If we know when the travel happened, then we use past simple, so went. Or if you're just talking about some time in your life, um, the experience is what's important, we use present perfect, so I have been. Remember, not I have gone, because that means you haven't returned yet. I have been means that you have gone there and back again. And now the key piece of information, you need to use the preposition to in English, not in, okay, because to is the English preposition that best shows movement. And if we're talking about travel, then yes, there is movement involved. Okay, so you should actually answer like this. I went to Spain last year. Past simple, because we know when. Or, I have been to Spain. Present perfect, because we're talking about experience, we don't know when. I have been to Spain, I went to Spain. Got it? Good. Um, just one last thing to come back to that grammatically correct sentence that Russian speakers and perhaps speakers of other Slavic languages might use that we have now corrected. We don't want to use that anymore. But if it's grammatically correct, when do we use it? What question does it help us to answer? Well, if I say to you, oh, I tried to call you last week, but you didn't answer. Where were you? Your answer would be, I was in Spain. See the difference in the question? I didn't ask you where you were going. I didn't ask you about travel or movement. I just asked where you were situated, which is why you could answer, I was in. Okay, hope that helps. And as always, if you have any questions or any suggestions, please get in touch with me, Rebecca at fivestarenglish.net. And I look forward to helping you again soon with some more tutorials. Bye. Thank you.